Ready, go! All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Nick Penner, one of the competitors in the up, upcoming groundbreaking, groundbreaking underground arm wrestling league event, the first event. Nick, how's it going? Going good. Going good. So we got to talk because you are involved in one of the very first, um, well, establishing the very first men's right and left champion in the zero to 180 class. So how long, uh, let's go way back. Tell us about your start in arm wrestling and your accolades in arm wrestling. All right. Well, uh, man, it's been, I want to say 16 or 17 years I've been arm wrestling. Uh, my dad is the one who got me into it. He, he's been arm wrestling since he was younger in his, in his twenties. I think he's, uh, he competed in nationals a number of times back then. And he took a long break many years, but uh, in a trip to Winnipeg, he saw a poster for uh, arm wrestling tournament and he entered it with my brother. You were there, Ryan. That was his first, his comeback event, I guess. Mike Barrett was there. Uh, and he was just shocked at how strong you guys were, uh, how you blasted through him, injured his arm. Uh, and uh, I'm sorry. Ever no, since sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he said it took many years to recover. Uh, but no, uh, that's how I got started. Uh, so me and my brother and my dad for a lot of, a lot of years were, were arm wrestling together. I've uh, gone to nationals a number of times. I have four uh, nationals titles in Canada. I've been to Worlds twice. Uh, I don't think I've ever won a match at Worlds, but I've been there. Um, yeah, that's about it. And you were at the World Arm Wrestling League a couple of times. Yes, that's true. I was at WAL. I went to Vegas. I got uh, I got eighth place in Vegas one year, so I just got into the money. And uh, my last tournament for WAL, I guess, was the big one in Chicago uh, that Tony Katowski won. That was a crazy stacked class in the one sixty fives. I did not do well there, but uh, that was a that was a big one. Yeah, if I remember correctly, you had a good pull with Giannis. Yeah, I think I even surprised myself there. I, I, uh, he was, he was pulling me over. And I all cracked his wrist back and got into a boat there. Uh, so it was, it was good. Yeah. Yeah. So we got four national titles, man. I actually remember sneaking you into the bar to arm wrestle in the provincials. When you were yes. 16 years old. That, you know, that's the only time that I've ever used the fake ID actually. Thanks to you, I guess. <laughs> oh, <no>. uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm being incriminated here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, my brother. I used my brother's uh, brother's ID to get in to compete. So that was, two, that was a lot were, of fun, yeah. There were two Derek Penners that day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I'm surprised they didn't include... Well, I guess they would have had to really be paying attention because the name we were calling to the arm wrestling table didn't match the name on the ID, but... It's yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think they lined that up. The, uh, oh, the people that no, they would have had to really be yeah. paying attention. Yeah, so I'm really caring. When was the last time you pulled in a competitive event? Oh man, what is the last competitive event? It might be, it might be nationals in 2019. The Edmonton. That might be the last one, West Edmonton Mall. Yeah, Holy cow. So we're almost two years removed from that. Yeah, and, uh, we have no nationals in 2021. Yeah, exactly. And now the UAWL pops up. So what are your thoughts on the way that this event is going to unfold? And when I say that, I mean, you basically are showing up, pulling, and then kind of getting out of there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's different. Uh, that's for sure. Um but I'm, I'm excited, like thinking of the, you know, leading up to the event, I feel, uh, 
uh, you know, there's kind of the nerve leading up to it. You feel excited like a tournament. So all that stuff to me is the same. I'm it's I'm so glad that this is happening, that there's there's something I can train for and, and look forward to. Um, I wish there was. Yeah, it'd be nice if everyone, you know, there could be more people there and, and you know, after pulling type of stuff. But uh, no, this is this is a good uh, this is all we can do for now. So I'm pretty happy with it. Well, yeah, I'm excited too, man, because I haven't, you can see some competitive arm wrestling, but none of the stuff for the Manitoba guys has been happening for a long time. And this card is completely stacked with Manitoba athletes for now. Yeah. So you have Spencer Cleaver as an opponent. Now, historically, how have you guys matched up? We've had, well, he's... He's getting stronger. I, I think every time I pull him, he gets he gets stronger. So we match up better every time. But uh, man, the last few times I pulled him, it's it, it's uh, it could go either way. I would say he's 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 getting a, a good hand, a good arm. He's kind of getting strong everywhere. So uh, yeah, I'd say it's it's pretty close. I think I'm gonna win it, but uh, I don't know how I'm gonna win it. We'll have to see what I have to do when when it comes. We'll give you a little inside scoop. We haven't been on an arm wrestling table probably for six months. Um, and during Code Red, like the really heavy Code Red, where you weren't allowed anyone in your house, we didn't train. Like we followed yeah. the rules that were set out. So we uh, we didn't do any of that. Once they lifted, the, gave you the two-person thing, Spencer and I started training in the mornings. And today, this morning, as like just a few hours ago, yeah, a 6 a.m. practice, and there was myself, Spencer, and Louis Broussard, and it was the first time we've been on an arm wrestling table in months and months. Nice. Okay. So it'll be – there's the great unknown. So you exactly. guys were starting to get – he was maybe getting a little closer to you, and then all of a sudden we're shut down. And now here we are a year later, essentially. Like we had a couple of practices in the summer of last year, but – Yeah, not much. Now we're going to see where everybody stands. Exactly. Exactly. Right yeah. And left. So, are you confident that you're going to win both of those arms? I yeah, I think I will. I think my experience will help. Um, but it's it's kind of the same for me. You know, I was off for at least a couple months over Christmas. Uh, no table time at all. Uh, I did start up with a training partner. Uh, I don't know, a month or month and a half ago, but. Uh, Man, I, I'm definitely not in, in peak form, but I guess none of us probably are with what we've had to go through here. Well, you might surprise yourself. That's true. And you yeah. might surprise your opponent. But then the opposite could happen. And that's kind of the exactly of this whole event. And yeah. there's so many guys. So if you become champion in either arm or both, you're going to be busy. Because there's too many, there's so many guys coming out saying, I want the shot at the winner. Awesome. So yeah. we might do a couple of eliminators to find out who that person's going to be. Yeah, but perfect. 180 is a big class. Yeah. And okay, when you say the 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 people coming to to compete, is this are you talking locally? Like it, like is this Manitoba that you're you're talking about there? We or, could or end bigger? up expanding much farther than that. Okay. So for now, but the whole premise behind the league is, and this is something mm -hmm. I've wanted to do for a long time, um, is have a central location where everyone comes to compete. It's set up. It's basically there the entire time. So that's what we're doing. And we're going to end up um, with a cool setting eventually where it's awesome. kind of the, the uh, WAL pit style where there's like some bleachers, an arm wrestling table in the middle. And uh, yeah, I think it's really going to be fun uh, as we evolve. Awesome. It's going to yeah. be fun right now. And um, it's even going to be a little weird because there's one ref, one cameraman, two competitors, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's odd. That's for sure. It's a, uh, it's a different feeling. It'll, it'll be a different feeling once I get there, I'm sure. Yeah. And almost like when you watch that first UFC that was in the apex around Fight Island where there's no crowd, it's kind of quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's cool, man. I am happy that you're a part of it. 
And um, man, you got anything you want to say to the the people watching or your competitor? Oh man, not not really. Just just thanks a lot for for putting this on. Uh, I will certainly be there doing my best, and I hope I don't injure Spencer. Oh. Try not to. He hopes no, you that's, that's, that's too. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> All right, my friend. Thank you for coming on here. Short and sweet. And it's uh that's how we are gonna move forward. I can't wait Perfect. to see what happens. And that is coming up on April the third. Yes, that's a bitch!